don't have a fan on because it makes too much background noise and it's like 37 degrees today celsius for all you americans so if i die filming this um don't show this video at my funeral because it won't be done because i won't have gotten to edit because i would be dead yeah cool <laughs> Hello humans, how are you? Look at this, another video. So exciting. I'm very aware that the glare that was on my glasses the last time is most likely still on my glasses because I haven't figured out how to like, not have the glare there. I also apologize for the state of my person because uh, I haven't brushed my hair today. Haven't cleaned my glasses today, haven't put any makeup on, which I'm, I know you can tell I'm not wearing any makeup because my skin looks like you get the plague from it. But, you know, the fact is, this is me in my natural state. Gross, unclean, and earthy. Which just makes it all the more convenient because today we're gonna be making a friend. I am not good at keeping plants alive outdoors. So house plants or little desk succulents are a really good thing for me. And while I cannot have outdoor plants, I also cannot have a cat because my mother is actually allergic to all the hair. Or she could just not like cats and I've been using those excuses the entire time. My 16th birthday this year, my mum tried to reconcile my two lost issues, lack of outdoor plants and lack of cats, in one beautiful gift, which was in fact a little cat pot that you could plant ryegrass seeds and then it would grow and it would have hair and you could like cut its hair and stuff. And isn't it cute? I loved that thing. It was alive for like two weeks and I got to like grow its hair and cut its hair and it was really cool. I gave it a mohawk and stuff and it was like ideal because I had a plant and I also had a cat and it was like the same thing. This was before I realized that I could keep succulents without killing them. Although I'm a bit afraid that this has got like six different colors on its sleeves. I think I'm scared it might be sick. And the other day one of my friends, Emily, reached out to me and was like, hey, let's hang out this afternoon. And I was like, yeah, sure. She was like, I'll pick you up from this suburb that's kind of halfway between both our places. And I thought to myself, you know what's right near that place she's gonna pick me up? The brand new Masters. Masters is like the Woolworths version of Bunnings. And Bunnings is like the biggest home improvement hardware stuff store you've ever seen. And it is the best place on earth. While I was there, the first aisle that we wandered down in the store was the seed aisle. And then on the very bottom shelf, I found this guy. It's a dog version of the cat hair planter thing. And it's a pink and it's a poodle. And today we are going to make it and grow it and create it and we're gonna grow a friend guys because I don't have any people friends. It's really hard to open. Hello. These are our, our ryegrass seeds, this little pack. Then we have some got some instructions. I need that. Then we have a little soil pellet, which is like dirt compacted. And then we have our little poodle pot. It is on a weird angle though and that's kind of annoying me. There are instructions here, but I'm going to read the ones out of the box. It feels more authentic. Growing tips. Dissolve soil. Ugh. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. So the first thing that we have to do is dissolve this soil pellet in two to three times its volume of water. So we're just going to put this in this bowl. Just pop them in there. And, um... That is way more than two to three times the volume of water. That looks a bit better. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and now I have this cup of sludge. I did indeed put way too much water in. But the next thing we do is we put three quarters of this soil in the pot and then we sow the seeds. I'm just going to get some of this dirt. Oh lordy, this is disgusting. Um, and I'm just going to pop it in here. Don't worry mum, I'm not getting any on the carpet. Now I'm going to open my little ryegrass pouch of seeds. Is that in focus? I don't know, but it's this little, it's a little packet full of ryegrass seeds. It's pretty cute. So now we're just going to sow the seeds. Ooh, that's a lot of seeds. You know what? Yellow. We're going to put in all the seeds. And all the little seed dust as well. So now that I've put all the seeds in our little poodle pot, um, I'm just going to add the rest of the soil sludge creation to the top. It says cover gently, but I'm gonna need to like do some hardcore soil retrieval to even get the soil out of this. And so now we have this beautiful little poodle pot 
friend. How cute, it's gonna grow hair. We're gonna get to cut the hair. I might do a whole other video dedicated to Poodle Pot haircuts. Well guys, that is all I have for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making my little pot plant friend. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I will be posting content. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All my social media links are down below. As always guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all so much and goodbye. My fan is off and I told you I was gonna die and I feel like I'm dying because it is so hot and I can literally just feel the sweat running down my chest right now. Australians, oh let us rejoice because we are hot and sweaty. We have heat strokes at 24. That's why our hospitals are so plenty. Real talk though. This is ridiculous.